Y'all, it's looking to get real nasty, dark, even, between luck and hustle, man. You know women, men, especially in battle rap, they're going to go back and forth on social media. There ain't nothing we ain't seen before. Disrespect one another, violate each other. You know what I'm saying? Always crossing that line verbally. But that's usually where it stays. It never goes any further than that. Where it starts is usually where it ends on social media. But I get the feeling that it's possible this situation may have a different outcome. I truly get the feeling that it may take a different turn of events this time around. Because I am aware that when you say the word violation, this meets all the criteria. You understand? Everybody know her so, man. Her mouth is crazy, and she one of them ones that will go there. But I'm not going to lie. I don't know why it shocked me, but at the time when it happened, it did kind of shock me because I'm like, I didn't think she'd go there with it. But maybe I shouldn't even be surprised because she do call herself the villain. If nobody else will go low, Hustle will definitely take it there. You understand? So let's rewind real quick. Hustle and Luck. They had got into it verbally uh, maybe about the about the beginning of the month, almost a month ago. From my understanding, it was Luck that started it. Started, she started it by calling Hustle a horsehead. <laughs> a horsehead. It ain't nothing we haven't heard before. DNA 2 stayed making fun of her about, you know, having the resemblance of a horse and all of this stuff like that. Right? But Hustle wasn't laughing. She didn't take it as a joke. You know what I'm saying? She felt disrespected. And that's when I asked this question. It's like, is there a limit to how a person responds when they feel disrespected? You know what I'm saying? Maybe it depends on the situation. I've always believed that once disrespect is in the air, you can't tell somebody how to react, how to respond. And you shouldn't be surprised because when it's war, it's war. You know what I'm saying? In this situation, Hustle had went beyond with it. You know what I'm saying? I had thought, a lot of people had thought, but Hustle felt like, you know, you wanted to go there, you wanted to play with me, so I went there. Lux's moms had passed away recently, you know what I'm saying, a little bit back. And Hustle basically was saying stuff in the spaces, kind of like, you know, like, you so busy on here messing with me or whatever. Like, go grieve over your mom. You know what I'm saying? She was on Twitter saying certain things, and then she was in the spaces. You know what I'm saying? She was, I think she was in the spaces going off because Luck had pointed out this one thing she said that I didn't even hear. But um, Luck had said, dig that B up. Let me call my mother because I can. I guess those are the things that Hustle was saying. She said, this is how disgusting battle rappers have become when she stalked me her whole career. This is how you speak of my mother. Only posting this so karma can handle this before I do. I play a lot of games. This ain't one of them. Right? So Hustle, I see her saying these type of things a lot. She basically be saying stuff like, oh, y'all, when y'all play with me, it's all funny and all that stuff. It's all funny games. But when I play... Ain't nobody laughing, things like that, right? Stop trying to control how I respond. Just leave me alone, stuff like that. And look, she doubled back. And she said, somebody tell Miss Hustle that nobody makes it out this life alive and her mom's day will arrive if hers doesn't first. No matter what we say in battle rap, she crossed the line and will get dealt with, right? So Hustle started taunting Luck, you know, like, come beat me up or whatever the case is, right? She's like, hey, love, we live close. We can meet up today, legend. I don't care. I'll say it again. Leave me alone. Right? It was up and it was stuck, but nothing ever came from it. So fast forward today, Luck puts up a cryptic message. Now, everybody who is aware of the situation knows whom she was referring to because you see the horse emojis. You see a lollipop or what, a, a, a shocking face emoji, uh, a, a lucky number seven, a seven's there, and a, what, a purple devil emoji and a prayer emoji, you know what I'm saying? Folks are just trying to figure out what exactly Luck was trying to say. But Hustle, she beat everybody to the punch 
And she insinuated that what Luck is insinuating is that she has Hustle's address and she planned on pulling up to stand on business. So Hustle starts taunting Luck about pulling up. She say, come already, stop sniffing coke and pull up. Anyway, I'm home, now this very moment, watching Tubi movies, eating snacks, because she's annoying, like, put the dollar bill down and slide. Pretending you have my address when I just give it to you is insane to me. You're a goofball miss if you come and come. Right, she gonna get her silly self shot playing around. So it's looking like it could really go there. I don't know if um if Luck is really going to do that. I, I always felt like in situ in beef, never pull up to the op house first off because you never know what they got and who they got there. You know what I'm saying? And some people might say, oh, I don't care about that. Hustle need to get beat down. But Hustle got a daughter. I say that to say Hustle is going to do what she got to do to protect her kid. You know what I'm saying? That's just the facts of it. They ain't talking about no boxing match, no sparring match. They talking about really doing something bad to to one another. Hustle talking about get, about pulling that thing out. She talking about pulling a trigger now. She talking about taking a life. You know what I'm saying? Over a situation that didn't have to be, man. You know? And some people might look at it from two different ways. It's like Luck didn't have to say what she said towards Hustle, even though it wasn't that big a deal. But to Hustle... It was that big a deal. You know, she simply feels like you shouldn't have said nothing. You know what I'm saying? It was disrespectful to me. So if you want to play with me, this is how I chose to respond. You know what I'm saying? And now we got this situation, fam. Leave y'all comments and thoughts, man. Do y'all feel like there's a limit to how people should respond to disrespect? You know what I mean? Or are you just one of those people who feels like, listen... You can't tell me how to react or how to respond once I feel disrespected. Really, this one I'm out.